I have a desire of speaking. So every time I'm just enjoying the art part. In Chinese, we have the way of speaking, the way of walk, the way of talk. I want to get better relationship with everybody. It's not just concept. Uh, we are, are very aware of how critical and, and, and central a role this piece plays in Chinese uh, literature and Chinese culture. And it is such a privilege to be able to bring this to life for an American audience. And that certainly extends to uh, our production design and Tim Yip, who has designed both the scenery and the costumes for this opera. Uh, he has brought such an elegance and such uh, nuance and magic, both to the scenery and the costumes. I listen to the music of passion, and uh, I, I find that uh, his music is. Um, I can feel that I, I can feel that the costume, the detail have to be fade out, and become something unfocused, so that I try to make all these all these patterns of of a woman to be bright, and all costume become kites. You know, so that the whole scene, I'm thinking, they have like a, a machine, a wooden machine of the uh, fabric maker to present, to present the Da Guan Yuan. And then all the people is in the kite form. You know, everybody is bigger than, and no details. And this part, I can feel that the music is come together. Because music is straight model, everything is like melody, really slow, really floating, continuity. So that I make all the colors harmony. They have a one line can go, it is not like a jingju jumping out. So I think the whole thing is really important about the music, how you work with the music. So the audience can see the whole thing with beauty, at the same time they are not interrupt anything else. They come together. The poetic part is come together. You know, everything is about language. I have a desire of uh, speaking something in my mind that I cannot say. It's a normal environment, I can't say, so that in art, I can say anything. So every time I'm just enjoying the art part, I want to create a multi-different experience of all the audience when they come in. Everybody can expect, you know, can to come out some their own feeling, but not just seeing what feeling that uh, is being given. They will give the feeling because they see something familiar. That's make me change the, the meaning of contemporary art in, for myself. I want to get better relationship with everybody. It's not just concept. Um, you talked about you want to bring Lily to San Francisco. You want to work with Chinese Culture Center, and why this organization? Why San Francisco? Why now? I fell in love with San Francisco. One of the cool things that I thought uh, that Tim Yip does is mix influences from different time periods and different uh, styles that aren't like historically accurate, and so this like kind of like breaking down of cultural barriers is sort of like an analog to what I see the CCC doing, which is kind of breaking out similar there. What CCC does is not just about recovering lost histories of the Chinese and the Chinese diaspora, but really challenging the notion of cultural categories altogether. And it was really enlightening to hear Tim sharing CCC's notions of cultural fluidity and rupture. We are extremely, extremely proud to give Tim Yip the platform and agency to speak on his own term at the lecture Dream with Tim Yip. <laughs>